So, does Richard Branson and his Virgin rocket space plane provide anything else other than the usual tosh we've gotten used to over the last seven years? Let's have a look. Wanted child with a dream, looking up to the stars. Now I'm an adult in a spaceship. Now I'm an adult in a high altitude zero G plane. Ah oh dear, Richard, you're gonna have to put more crackle in your voice, and you're gonna have to add a bit more polish to this performance because you ain't convincing anyone. Your pals in the background are just giving this nonsense away anyway. Oh dear. Lots of wonderful adults looking down to our beautiful, beautiful Earth. So the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this... I've got to pause it there, Richard. Just now we saw quite a large amount of curve. Now it would seem the Earth is concaved. So clearly the curvature, what we're seeing here, whether it be extreme or concave, is clearly optical and not physical. Otherwise the curve we'd see from your pantomime plane would kind of relate to each other. Not one minute a small amount of curve, then the next minute a gigantic bit of curve, then the very next minute concave earth. Clearly ridiculous, Richard. Just imagine what you can do. Hey. Come on up. And then we go to that shot of curve, which if my memory serves me correct, is about the same amount of curve James May sighted from the U-2 spy plane at 70,000 feet. Ridiculous. It's just a glammed up zero G plane. That's it. We've got good old Beth in the back there in her wide open, blown away pose that she likes to use. Her mouth is always open here for these publicity shots as if to say, I'm blown away. But what we're seeing is just a zero G plane and ridiculous visuals. Ugh. Did you notice that window trim there seemed a bit loose? <laughs> Here we got Beth there with her mouth wide open, blown away. I wonder if her jaw ached after this promotion. Earth's concaved, everyone. <laughs> you gotta love good old Beth. Constantly got her mouth open here for these publicity shots. I mean, who looks like that? Even me looking out that window, I'm sorry, my mouth wouldn't be open like that. Ridiculous, particularly given the fact the Earth looks again slightly concaved. And then we come to the top two boys here. Hang on, let's come back a smidge. There they are. Motorbike hats, boiler suits, washing up gloves and Spitfire breathing apparatus. But bearing in mind just behind them, all the people we've just seen jumping about in their zero G plane haven't got protection. Just highlighting the absurdity of all this. I don't think they've gotten anywhere near as high as they say they have, just a bit higher than your average zero G planes. And of course, given that, they get a little bit more zero G time. That is all this is, just a zero G plane, glammed up with a bit of space propaganda sprinkled on it. I'm very disappointed. I foolishly thought here that they might have upped their game and used this as a great opportunity to cite something that would give the space fans something to be proud of. But no, they've just dumped on the very people that have to defend this tosh. Ah oh dear, who would have thought? Utter fucking nonsense. And just before I go, here's the flight profile for a zero G plane. And here's the flight profile 
for Richard Branson's space plane. It's exactly the same. Essentially, Richard Branson's space tourism charade is essentially a zero-G plane glammed up to go a little bit higher and provide a little bit longer in a zero-G environment. That's it. Who would have thought?